our, our reputation is built on what our core values are SSQP, which is safety, schedule, quality, and production. We always look for the tools to put in our guys' hands so we can uh, achieve a high level of schedule and quality and production. Um, so we're always looking for be a forward thinking company that looks at those tools to enhance our coworkers' uh, abilities out in the field. So there's always something that gets in your way that slows you down. Maybe it's manpower, people's vacations, the weather, uh, new drawings, revisions. So we're always behind the eight ball trying to catch up. There's always pains on a job site, but uh, you know, just just like most people in the industry, it's it's how you deal with those situations. And uh, and again, you wanna you wanna put your people to have the success. You wanna make sure they got the tools in their hand to make sure that they're they're moving forward in the right direction. So anyway, we gain an edge, do something quicker, find something quicker, a mean or a method. We utilize it. We kind of implement it with our crew and company wide uh, to share any kind of advantages that we can we can find. We have a very entrepreneurial um, spirit at Baker, so we we always want to look for that better mousetrap. We call it, and uh, we want to uh, we always want to be pushing forward and be on the forefront of, of new technologies and new new equipment to to make sure that we're industry uh, leader. Uh, started using. A robot, I want to say early 2000s, but the, from robots then to now, it's, it's changed a lot. Uh, a lot of the search features, the lock features, it's definitely made a big change in the layout and survey market. So I'm excited, just something new that I think could be beneficial. Anything that could take a pressure off of you and you have the accuracy still there, it can be a nice tool in the tool bag. Well, this morning we thought we'd get on the concrete early uh, with this warm weather. It just didn't happen. The concrete finishers started the opposite end and where we needed them to. Uh, so we're behind the eight ball right away. Luckily with AP20 pole, we got around all those nooks and crannies pretty good. Uh, picked up some time, some speed as we was carrying along. Uh, not being able, not to have to be plumb to shoot the corners. You got the rebar in the way. Uh, you got material in the way, people flying stuff with the tower crane. Uh, went pretty smooth once we got up and running. The first time it was kind of a uh, out of uh, character, I guess, was your so many years you hold the pole, you look down at the bubble. This you're all you just look at the data collector, seeing where you're at. Tablets telling you where to go, you're there. When we first started, we took a couple measurements. Uh, columns are usually 30 by 36 here, some are 24 by 36. Laid them out, pull the tape on it. It looked it looked good. I was surprised. <laughs>